Okay, YouTube is your boy Dev back again. First listen, please ain't. Uh, we are in catch up mode still because when I went on vacation, man, a lot of music came out um, last Friday, including Joyner Lucas track, a new Joyner Lucas track titled Devil's Work. Now, I gotta say, man, I'm kind of disappointed in Joyner Lucas. Um, not because of his music, but just how there hasn't been a, a, a plethora of Joyner music in 2019. Um, earlier in the year, I mean, was it earlier in the year 2019 when he did the collab with uh, Chris Brown? They did about two tracks together, and they were supposed to release a um, a collab album, but that didn't end up what happened. I guess that kind of fell through, or maybe they're saving it for the later of the year. Uh, I felt like he just had a strong 2018, a very very strong 2018, releasing. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a racist. I think he had, uh, you know, the track with Eminem he had there as well. So it was kind of just like, you know, he had all this buzz going for him. He had all this hype. And I thought that 2019 was going to be his year when he drops the album. I thought he was going to drop the album earlier in the year, you know, right, right when the hype was still there. Felt like, you know, his buzz has definitely calmed down a bit. And, you know, usually when he does these tracks right here, a lot of people saying this is one of those tracks kind of just like, I'm not a racist. I, I appreciate his artisticness. Um, he definitely has a vision when he makes his music shit. He knows how to put his words together, you know, to combine that with his visuals. He definitely knows how to grab, you know, a listener's attention right from the start. I just felt like for me, man, his his albums, you know, have been really miss. They haven't even been hit. They just been missed for me. So his singles have definitely been hit, but his albums have been missed. But I don't want to do too much talking, man. Let's get right into this. Like always, been fucking talking too much. We got uh, Joyner Lucas, Devil's Work. Y'all ready? And nigga, chair just gone down, went down on me and shit. What the fuck? Hold on. This nigga at church with some henny. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I ain't, uh, I'm not a religious type of person, but I definitely will not bring no henny inside no church. All right, I'm just being real with y'all. Ain't, that ain't me. Hen, hen God Dev will not bring no church. Or bring no henny to no church. Feet standing. We supposed to be your children. I thought we family. You supposed to be my father, bro. I need answers. We don't need to die young, we just need chances. I feel like right here, you know, he's speaking as a black male, you know, about all the deaths we've had in the last year, two years, even, you know, 20 years, however far you want to go back, and he's kind of speaking to God, um, you know, like, yo, what's, what's up, man? Like, I mean, everybody's supposed to die, but I feel like, you know, being black, you died 30, 40 years earlier than most people are supposed to die, you know what I'm saying? Because of hatred and shit like that, it's just... Just want me number one like Steve Francis. Bow my head saying praying out of Steve Planet. Trying to be number one like Steve Francis. Hey, if a lot of y'all don't know who Steve Francis is, basketball player, a very upcoming first round pick, actually. First round, first first draft pick, actually. I think Steve Francis was, if I remember correctly, played for the Rockets, played for the Knicks, and he had a promising career, and you know, he had he had the dribbles, he had the handles and shit like that. And his his life just went the other way. So he was number one, but at the same time he was trying to be number one. It's a very sad story. You should go check it out. But respect you, I I know you watching us from heaven, thinking who to say. Cherry picking who should go next and who should stay. He said cherry picking just to see who next. That's kind of crazy. You just cherry picking to see who next. Ooh, that's tough. Made a few mistakes, cause you taking the wrong niggas. Maybe you should trade. Trade this back all the real ones. Remove the fakes. I think you should trade. You playing with fire right here. It says the track is called Devil's Work. So is he speaking to the devil? But it sounds like he's speaking to God because he keeps looking up. But to say that God is wrong for choosing who's time to die, and that's very bold of you, right? Especially if you're religious. I pr I'm pretty sure that's against the religious shit. That you, you can't do that shit. That's just, that's, nah. You can't tell God he wrong because God is right. Um... You know, he said Suge is still here, but Suge, because I was kind of confused here. I was like, is Suge still alive? Because I felt like, I thought Suge Knight died. Um, just looking at this picture, I had to go actually look it up for a second. But I thought Suge Knight died, and, you know, he's still alive. But he's saying we should have traded Suge for Tupac. You know, a life for a death. Also, that is against the rules. You can't do that. That's the legend resurrected. He gonna live for good. I've been streaming thug life in every day. Sound like Meek Mill, you know, he kind of sound like Meek Mill. Dang, it's 
take Eric Holder. Give us Eric right back. If y'all knew Eric Holder, that's the one that killed Nipsey, R.I.P. Nipsey. Um, I just, I sometimes I really just don't understand the hatred, um, the envy. Uh, I don't understand how. I mean, look, I actually I understand, you know, to a, to a degree. I don't understand how it gets to that extent. You know, like how does it get to the point where you're just like, I'm gonna kill you. Like I'm literally going to wipe you off the face of this earth because I have so much hate in my heart and so much envy. You know, I'm so much jealousy that you gotta, you know, you gotta take it out on somebody else's life that that has nothing to do with you. You know, they they did nothing to you, and you got so much hate for a stranger. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. My feelings too, but if you took Emma Tell, at least take Dylan Roof, at least take James Holmes. I ain't even mad at that. Just bring back Whitney and give us Michael Jackson back. Fez one. This feel like, you know, I feel like we probably, hold up, wait a minute. Like, <laughs> I thought that bitch was about to come on. Dead ass. But I like the message, man. I always love the message from Jordan Lucas. It's always a great joy to just sit here and and, and kind of just hear what this man has to say and, and watch the visuals. Just watch the video. Like, there, there's really nothing to react to, but there's definitely a lot to talk about. Main thing I want to say that I hate, though. Um, I don't agree with him how he was, uh, and I don't think this is a very good move for him. Especially when they had I'm not a racist all over Fox News. I believe that was on CNN as well That that I'm not a racist was very public and it got it, it brought up a lot of attention and it woke a lot of eyes up uh, Having this right here mentioning Tommy Lauren mentioning um, The other Fox chick that was making fun of Nipsey Hussle and mentioning, you know, Donald Trump the president saying that you wish he was dead uh, that that's some serious repercussions right there, man. Like I don't think that that's the move to go to because that's what essentially what you were saying. You're saying like, hey, give us back Tupac, give us back Biggie, give us back somebody that's gonna actually you know do right, and you got and, and you can take you know saying God, you can take the life, like this is technically what you're saying, you can take the life of you know the said names before, and I don't think that's really cool, especially like like Tommy Lauren. Yes, I, like I said, the white girl has you know. She says some crazy shit. She does some crazy shit. Obviously, she might be, you know, she might be a bit of a, of a R word. You know, like YouTube likes to flag for saying an R word. So, um, but 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 the R word. She might be one of those. But at the same time, I'm not gonna kill her over. I don't feel like she deserves to lose her life over that. I mean, like taking a life is very serious, and to just like you know speak free about that. I don't think that's really. Uh, cool at all. So that's kind of the only thing I have against this Jordan Lucas track, Devil's Work. But uh, I think it's an overall solid track. Um, you know, I'm waiting for the album. Hopefully, I don't want all like a whole album that's very that that's like this. I, I feel like he always does at least one or two, um, you know, of these tracks once like for the year. So I feel like this is kind of the first track just to get just to get us here. It's called 80. I don't know why. Why is it ADHD? Why is it ADHD in parentheses as well? What does ADHD mean? Is that because of the last album? But yeah, man, that's how I feel about it, man. Get in the comment box below. Let me know what you think about this track. Let me know what you think about the message. I want to know what is what. Do you guys just agree with the whole message overall? Um, give me the points where you guys really dislike about the track because I don't. I don't, like I said, I gave my points of why what I disliked about it, and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. You know, like that's just me being a forgiving person. But you just gotta, you, I think that you just can't speak on death so easily like that, you know? Like, and that's that's what we have right here. This is what this topic is. So, hey, don't forget, follow me on social media, let me know what you're here. And a hey, shout out to Joyner. I'm waiting for the album. Hopefully, it's something fire this year. I got some, I got big, big expectations from you because you had a great year last year. And I'm hoping you continue that run in 2019 at the end, towards the end of the 2019. So, we'll keep it like that, man. So, next time, this is me, boy, Dev. Don't forget, like always. Like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff, and follow my social medias. Let me know what you want to hear. And until the next time, it's me, whatever.